हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्मार्ट एंड डम कंपोनेंट्स हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फ्रंटेन इनसाइड टुडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इनटू अ फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट इन एंगुलर एंड रिएक्ट डेवलपमेंट स्मार्ट एंड डम कंपोनेंट्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस कंसेप्ट इज क्रूशियल फॉर बिल्डिंग स्केलेबल एंड मेंटेनेबल एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड what are smart and dumb components before we delve into the details let's define what smart and dumb components are okay so in simple terms smart components are responsible for managing state and interacting the layer uh, sorry interacting with the data layer while dumb components are purely presentational receiving data and displaying it okay so smart components let's start with the smart components so smart with smart components we get the benefit we can manage the state we can interact with services uh, we can pass the data to the dumb components smart components are often top level components in your application they manage the state of your application interact with services to fetch or update data and pass this data down to the dumb component okay so for example like uh, yeah okay so now the dumb component now let's talk about the dumb component so the benefit what benefit we get with the dumb component it receives the data via inputs emits events via outputs no business logic okay so dumb components are purely presentational they receive data from smart components via inputs emit events via outputs and focus solely on displaying the data they receive you can see the you can see in the example okay so what are the advantages of smart and dumb components so why use smart and dumb component so the main benefits i already explained so separation of concern reusability and maintainability so using smart and dumb components promotes a separation of concern making your code boys easier to understand test and maintain it also enhances reusability and dumb components can reuse in different parts of your application with different data so here in conclusion smart components manage state and interact with the data layer while dumb components focus on displaying data they receive this separation of concern leads to a more maintainable scalable and reusable code base if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more angular tutorials tips or interview questions if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover in our next video please leave a comment thank you for watching happy coding